press briefing on the report of the second batch pre-market validation of SARS-CoV-2 infection COVID-19 test kits in Nigeria by Dr. Tosan Erabo, Registrar Chief Executive Officer of the Medical Body Science Council of Nigeria on this day, 13th October 2020. Gentlemen of the press, I am delighted to welcome you to the MLSCN House and to this important briefing. As you may be aware, this is the second briefing hosted by the Medical Body Science Council of Nigeria since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. Essentially, both briefings were aimed at updating the good people of this country on the outcome of the pre-market validation of COVID-19 test kits brought into the country by various promoters and vendors for potential development for diagnostic purposes and to help contain the menace of the COVID-19 pandemic in our dear country, Nigeria. We appreciate the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Mohammed Buhari, the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 PTF, the Federal Minister of Health and the Nigeria Center for Disease Control for maintaining the good standard by deploying PCRO for COVID-19 testing, as well as supporting Medical Research Council of Nigeria in carrying out its mandate with respect to the validation of test kits in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, in pursuance to our mandate, as initiated in our Act 11 of 2003, Cap M25, Laws of Federal Republic of Nigeria of 2004, the MLSCN is to regulate the production, importation, sales, and stocking of diagnostic reagents, equipment, and chemicals. And as such, commenced the process of validating COVID-19 test kits in Nigeria as a strike in subsection of that act. The outbreak of the pandemic and the efforts to curtail it has indeed brought MLSM mandates to the fore. You will you note that in our first briefing, we did give you an information on four test kits that we did. That was in May in 2020. None of the antibody test kits at that time meet the international standard as required. It's also important for me to also let you know in line with our mandate, we did an advert and we have been able to receive 43 brands of test kits for validation. It's important for us to note that this laboratory, the Individual Diagnostic Laboratory, is located in Lagos, precisely at 8 Abbey Road. Also, for the purpose of validation, we also requested from each of these vendors to provide us with 300 worth of test kits for the validation process. And we have three real-time PCR kits and two antigen, 26 antibody test kits. We also received 
one antibody ELISA kit and one antibody chlorminescence kit were done in this sub in this uh, validation. It is important for us to note that the medical of science cancer of Nigeria does not play with the health of Nigerians for validations to take place because the press may are here, some of the vendors will tell you we are demanding for so much kits from them. You cannot do a proper statistics with just 20 samples. You cannot do a proper statistics with just 50 samples. So for us, with a population of 200 million, the required number of tests we can do for you to say your kit is okay for use in our dear country, Nigeria, and for our population, it you must submit to us 300 test kits for us to validate your kit. Not that we are collecting those kits for sales or for any other thing. It's also important for me to let you know what are our goals? Why are we doing this? The reason is simple. We are doing this to validate the laboratory performance characteristics of the rapid test kit and the PCR using real-time preliminary chain reaction with the PCR as reference standard for the detection of the SARS-CoV-2 infection. The vendors might also ask that the kit that they have is what they are showing to us and is positive. There's a difference between laboratory performance characteristics and clinical performance. If we want to deploy kids into this country, nobody's going to be looking at your face to say whether you are clinically ill or not. We are saying that this is supposed to be used for screening. So anybody, whether clinically ill or not, is expected to use this kit. So it's not be wise for our country to use antibody test kit that is not performing laboratory well than to approve the one as clinical. What are our objectives? What are we looking for? One is to determine the sensitivity and specificity of that kit to determine whether this kit is accurate and to determine interreader variability of the test results of these kits. Not if we well that these kits are going to be performed by different people. We want to see if five of us, six of us, read the same result, and we read this result that comes out, will it give the same result. Those are the things we are looking for to save the life of Nigerians. On this briefing, I want to share with you the results of the 26 antibody kits, the two antigen, the three PCR, and the other ones that we have. We'll take it stage one step at the other. We are taking the antibody kit first. What we have here is we are using alphabets to determine to as a, a way of say a kit. But this is not the name of the kit for obvious reasons. Kit two here it has a sensitivity of 17 percent and a specificity of 90 percent. Accuracy of 59.4. Key 3, 37.7. Specificity, 95.1. Accuracy, 70.7. Key 14, 40.3. Specificity, 94.4. And the accuracy, 93.1. Kit, kit 15, 
32.1 sensitivity. Specificity, you have 99.3. And the accuracy, 70.7. Kit 16. Sensitivity, 32. Specificity, 84.6. And accuracy, 62.2. Kit 17. 42.5. That is sensitivity. Specificity, 82.5. And you have 57.7.4 for the accuracy. Kit 18, 39.6% for sensitivity. For specificity, you have 90.9. .9. Accuracy, 69.1. Kit 19, 46.2 for sensitivity. Specificity has 83.2 and accuracy 67.5. Kit 21, 28.3% for sensitivity. Specificity 100%. Accuracy 69.5%. Kit 24, sensitivity 44.3%, the specificity 90.2%, the accuracy 70.7%. Kit 25, 53.8% for sensitivity, the specificity 76.2%, then the accuracy 66.7%. Kit 26, sensitivity 40.6, specificity 95.1, accuracy 71.9. Kit 27, sensitivity 41.5, specificity 93.7, and accuracy 71.5. Kit 28, sensitivity 40.6, Specificity 93.7, sensitivity 71.1. Kit 30, sensitivity 60.4. Specificity 97.9 and the accuracy 69.1. Kit 31, sensitivity 30.2, the specificity 97.9 and sensitivity 69.1. Kit 31, sensitivity 30.2, sensitivity 97.9, accuracy 69.1. Kit 32, 50.9, specificity 80.4. Accuracy, 71.1. Kit 33, 50.9 sensitivity, specificity 83.9, and the accuracy, 69.9. Kit 34, 57.7 sensitivity, specificity 80.1, accuracy, 70.6. Kit 35, sensitivity, 49.0, specificity, 77.3, accuracy, 65.3. Kit 38, 45.9, sensitivity, specificity, 83.7, and the accuracy, 69.7. Kit 46. 51.5 sensitivity, specificity you have 81.4 and accuracy 17.2. The performance that is for the anti antigen antibody rapid test kit. For the one of non rapid test kits that has to use equipment for you to do.
we've got three. They are here we we'll label them as A, B, C. The A, the sensitivity is 18.7. The specificity is 87.1. The accuracy 68.9. The non-rapid test B, the sensitivity 21.3. The specificity 90.1. Then the accuracy 71.9. The C, the last but not the least on this non rapid test, is 11.1% sensitivity, 91.9% specificity, and 70.0, 70 70.2% accuracy. I told you we had two antigen kits. Three antigen kits, please. One, two, three, okay. The sensitivity. For the first one, we call it 004. Sensitivity is as low as 10%. The specificity 87.2 and the accuracy 74.2. 006A, the sensitivity 12.8, the specificity 98%, and the accuracy 84%. Antigen, the last one, 006B, the sensitivity 58.1, the specificity 92.9, and the accuracy 80.4. For the PCR, we had PCR product A, had a sensitivity of 78.8, specificity 91.5, the accuracy 87.8. We have STDM, we have 92.9% sensitivity, we have specificity 97.6, and the accuracy 96.4. We have Biasho, we have 98.6%. Sensitivity, specificity you have 89.0 and the accuracy 92.8. What are our findings? What do we observe? With all these figures you have seen, you could see that the antibody one, their sensitivity were very, very low. Also with the antigen that we also got. The ones that has to do with non rapid test antibody detection, we also perform it the same way like the rapid test kit. The PCR test kit that we have, three of them, we could see that two are shown form of prominence. That is why at the beginning, we commended the government of Nigeria, being led by President Mohamed Buhari. First step, first, supporting the structures that are on ground, that the best is good for Nigeria, that for now, PCRO should still be our gold standard. A total of 33 kits and systems were validated. All the antigen and antibody test kits, as rapid or otherwise, like I tried to explain, to uh, did not meet our criteria. The 22 rapid test kits being reported upon, though they fulfill the requirement of being a rapid test kit, that means you don't need any equipment, you can get your results within 15 minutes, but they did not meet that standard of 95%. You could also find that from that report, the highest from sensitivity of the antibody rapid test kit was 60.4%, which is the highest for the antibody kit. It is also far below the generally acceptable minimal in vitro diagnostic IBD sensitivity and specificity, which is 95%. Although some of the kits 
demonstrated relatively good specificity. As you could see, some had one or two had about 100 percent, 97. But these same kids have very poor sensitivity and they are not suitable. And for any kid to be suitable, it must meet both the specificity and the sensitivity. That is why they are not recommended. I will use this medium to send words of advice to our manufacturers. Yes, you are doing very well in your accuracy and um, sensitivity. We will appeal to you to still go back to the drawing board to look at the sensitivity for us to market, for you to market this product in our country, Nigeria.